In this video, I'll share with you how to survive as a mom and business owner. So how you actually get things done, although you are a mom. Hi, I'm Linnea. I help female entrepreneurs streamline the businesses so that they can get more time for what really matters. If you're interested in that, go to the description below. I often get that question, how can I have a family and be a, um, a great business owner at the same time? And I believe that a lot of us have limiting beliefs related to what we should be like as a mom like how a good mom should be i'm from sweden where it's uh, the work-life balance is super important there are not that many um, women that stay home with their kids because it's just not um, something you do there's child care for for all women whilst in italy where i live it is rather common to to stay at home with your kids or go down to part-time if your employer would accept it and uh, or you choose either or like if you have a career it's kind of hard Hard for you to also be a mom that is taking care of her kids as, as she would like to. So I see a lot of those cases in my work. By the way, if you want to become really productive, make sure that you download the free guide that I prepare for you. You will find it in the description below. So let's go into the five best advice that I have for you on how to really combine your work life and be a good mom and have a career at the same time. The number one, get comfortable with accepting help. This was really tricky for me in the beginning because I kind of felt that I had to be my, with my kids all of the time and uh, a nanny wouldn't be good as good as me, but I was so wrong. <laughs> a nanny can be really wonderful for your kids. If you live in a country where you have access to childcare, that's wonderful as well because kids really do find it nice to be together and play together. And uh, so, but it's also about uh, accepting help in all ways because there's so many people around you often that really would like to help you either with your kids or with some other stuff in your life. The number two is let go of mom guilt and lower your expectations. If you have a business, you most probably have a why, a reason, a purpose with running that business. And you also want to be a mom. But if that goal that you have, if that is really important for you, and it probably also includes your family, building a, a future for your kids, etc., that is really what you want to focus on, then of course you cannot spend a lot of time with your kids. You cannot be with your kids 24 seven. So lower your expectations. When you have um, pe people coming over, you don't need to book cookies yourself. You can buy them. You don't need your house to be super perfectly clean all of the time. It's, it's just not feasible. The number three advice is plan. Plan weekly and daily. So starting from your to-do list, use time blocking. So you block time on your agenda. So if you have kids at home, those time blocks will most probably be when they are sleeping. You will do the most important tasks, the most the high priority tasks and things that you can do while they're awake or while they're playing are low priority tasks. So divide into low priority tasks that you can do kind of once you're doing something else and high priority tasks and time block those things. Number four is to get really productive during those times of the day when you have time, when you can be 100% focused. So if you have toddlers at home, it will probably be while they're sleeping or early in the morning or at late at night when they are uh, in bed. Or as for me, my kids are at school, they're eight and 10. So for me, it will be during the day when, uh, before they come home from school that I can be really focused. So during this time, make sure that you have a perfect plan in place on the things that you want to do and of course um, children wake up earlier than expected or children don't want to go to bed at the time that you were thinking that they would but uh, those are things that come up so that's okay but anyway during those times when you actually you should be working make sure that you are working that you turn off the notification that you don't get distracted use timers to really time box what you're doing so if you say that to write a, an email it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes put a timer on 10 minutes and make sure that you will finish that email within 10 minutes so avoid distractions and really manage your time I have lots of other videos on that so go to my channel if you're interested in that the number five is remember that nothing is forever. When my kids were one and three and I hadn't been sleeping for the last three years, it felt like I'm never gonna sleep again, never, ever. But of course, now I do, they're eight and 10. So both for the good things and the bad things, 
they will everything will change as kids grow as your kids grow they will change in the sleep patterns what they the being picky about food will not last forever being uh, having tantrums will not last forever everything's changing so be adaptable but remember if you're in a bad uh, part of, of your kid's life if you're struggling a lot it will get better because everything is evolving and that's the fun thing that's a nice thing about life isn't it what is the one thing that you are struggling with the most when it comes to juggling between being a business owner and a mom i would love to know let me know in the comments below if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do that and click the bell button so that you get notified every time i release a new video related to how to get more time how to streamline your business and how to be happier overall in your life i wish you a wonderful day